You're responding to a patient in the park that's having trouble breathing. Okay, uh, I'm getting on scene, I have my BSI, my scene is safe. I see I have one patient here. Um, my nature of illness is someone having respiratory distress in the park. Um, because of that, I'm gonna call ALS. I, see, um, I don't see any life threats on him. My general impression is that early 20s male sitting on a park bench, looks like complaining of uh, trouble breathing, appears to be alert. Hey sir, how are you? My name is Steve, I'm an EMT. Have you fallen recently? No. Any neck or back pain? No. Okay, I'm not gonna hold the head to maintain C-spine stabilization. What's your name? Oh. Where are you? In the park. Okay, what day of the week is it today? Monday. Okay, uh, so my patient's alert and he's speaking to me, so his airway is clear. Peyton, um, breathing, I'm gonna look at his chest, looking for equal chest rise. Okay, I see equal chest rise. Maybe it might be labored for this scenario. Uh, I'm gonna listen now. Mid-clavicular and mid-axillary. I would really listen to him. And I hear clear lung sounds on this gentleman right here. But... The patient is wheezing. Okay, um, I'm gonna feel the chest, just feeling for equal chest rise. You take a deep breath. One more. Okay, uh, I have equal chest rise. Um, because of the wheezing and the trouble breathing, I'm going to give you oxygen, non-rebreather, at 15 liters per minute. Okay. Uh, circulation, sir, are you bleeding anywhere? No. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check your radial pulse, and we can check both, though, if that's okay with you. I have strong radial pulses bilaterally. Um, check the skin. It's pink, warm, and dry on him right now. Uh, the patient is warm, pink, and sweaty. Okay. I don't think this is a uh, shock. I think he was in the parks so and might be outside running. I'm not gonna treat you for shock at this time. If that changes, I'll, I'll treat you for shock. Um, but you are a high priority patient. I'm gonna call ALS and tell them that I have a early 20s male playing a respiratory distress in a park. Um, I have him on oxygen, uh, he's alert. Uh, so my question, so I know you have trouble breathing. Anything else going on or is it, ju is it just that? No, it's just I can't breathe. It's... Okay, are you allergic to anything? Uh, yes. What? Penicillin. Okay. Do you take any medications? Uh, my viral, my okay. inhaler. Okay, do you have any past medical conditions, any medical history? Um, just asthma. Okay, what was the last thing you ate or drank today? Uh, I had a big bacon egg and cheese. Okay, uh, what were you doing before everything started, before the respiratory distress? Well, I've just been running in the park for the past Running in the park, okay. And what were you doing the, the second, right when you had this trouble breathing? What were you doing? Uh, nothing, I was just, I just sat down and I just... Okay, uh, what what makes this oh, no. feel better or worse? Nothing. Nothing, okay. Well, can you describe what does it feel like, your trouble breathing, what does it feel um, like? It feels like I'm just like trying to breathe through a straw. Okay, um, does it go anywhere else, radiate anywhere else, or does it stay in your chest? No, it just stays in my chest. Okay, on a scale of zero to 10, zero is no trouble, like no, no effort, and, and 10 is the most effort you've ever had to breathe. Uh, I'd say probably like a seven. Okay. Um, what time did this start about? Um, it started about maybe 30 minutes ago. Has it gotten better, worse, or stayed the same since then? It's definitely gotten worse. Okay. Have you tried to do anything before I got here to help yourself? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. I just on. Okay. Uh, this time I'm going to take your vital signs. So I'm going to take your blood pressure, check the pulse, check the respiration, and check your skin again. I would really check them. I'm actually going to check all those things. Um, so my blood pressure I got, I'll just make it up really quick, 120 over 80. Heart rate is 80 beats per minute, strong and regular. Respiration's 18, full, regular, and skin is pink, warm, and dry. Are they different for the scenario? Yes, the blood pressure is 150 over 90. The respirations are 28 and labored, and the pulse is 130 and strong. And the skin? Is warm, pink, and sweaty. Okay. Just based on the questions and the vital signs, I believe this is a respiratory issue. So I'm going to check um, the respiratory system just to confirm that. So can you pull your eyes down? I want to look at your conjunctiva really quick. Okay, I'm going to look at your lips, just looking for cyanosis. I'm going to look for uh, JVD really quick. Not noted. I'm going to listen to all six lung sounds. Two, three, four. Can you lean forward? Five, six, back. Um, I'm going to check one more time. You put your hands out. I'm looking for a beam. I don't see any. Um, I'm looking for any nicotine stains on your fingers. I don't see any either. Okay. Um, I'm going to treat you with albuterol. I'll give you one vial and take that. I'll reassess you every five minutes. I'm going to reassess my vital signs, my interventions, primary assessment, and my absolute. 
When I get to the hospital, my final report to the nurse is I have a early 20s male. Um, appears to be having an asthma attack, running at the park about 30 minutes ago, started having trouble breathing, has a history of asthma, takes albuterol. His vital signs were as follows. If you remember them, that's fine. If not, no big deal. And um, that's it.